the heroic defender of Medina. This was the title given to Fahreddin Pasha. But who was he, and why was it given to him? Born in Ruz, present-day Bulgaria, in 1886, Fahreddin and his family moved to Istanbul when he was around 10 years old. At the outbreak of the Russo-Turkish War, as a young man he joined the War Academy and graduated at 20. He served in a number of posts from present-day Libya to Iraq and Syria before the outbreak of the First World War. Now he was needed in the holy city of Medina. But why? It was no secret that the British desired the fall of the Ottoman Empire, and it was through this series of letters with the Sharif of Mecca that they hoped to work towards this goal. The British had promised the Sharif an Arab state independent from Turkish rule if he would launch a revolt against the Ottomans in the region. On May 28, 1916, Fahreddin was deployed to Medina. Having arrived before the rebels, he took measures to protect the city and also sent Islamic artifacts and manuscripts to Istanbul to protect them from seizure. Twelve days later, the rebels occupied Mecca and began to lay siege to Medina. With British support, the Arab forces, led by Sharif Hussain's son, Faisal, launched their first attack in October 1916. But they were driven back with heavy losses by the Ottoman Hejaz Expeditionary Force. Following this defeat, the British and Arab strategy changed. Faisal and his advisors decided to leave Medina unoccupied. Forcing the Ottoman forces to retain troops in Medina and protect the Hejaz Railway, their only means of supply to the city. Military training camps were set up in Mecca. Arab Bedouins, officers and Ottoman deserters volunteered, numbering 30,000. Three armies were set up to surround Medina, from the east, the south and the north. Over the next two and a half years, Fahreddin and his troops would tirelessly defend the city and protect the single-track Hejaz railway from sabotage attacks. Ottoman garrisons of the isolated train stations withstood continuous night attacks and secured tracks against hundreds of acts of sabotage. In a letter to the Sharif of Mecca, Fahreddin revealed what inspired him to defiantly defend the city for so long. In August 1918, he received a call to surrender from the Sharif, to which he replied, In the name of Allah, the Omnipotent, to him who broke the power of Islam, caused bloodshed among Muslims, jeopardized the caliphate of the commander of the faithful, and exposed it to the domination of the British. On Thursday night, the 14th of Dhul Hijjah, I was walking, tired and worn out, thinking of the protection and defense of Medina, when I found myself among unknown men working in a small square. Then I saw, standing before me, a man with sublime countenance. He was the Prophet, may Allah's blessing be upon him. His left arm rested on his hip under his robe, and he said to me in a protective manner, Follow me. I followed him two or three paces and woke up. I immediately proceeded to his sacred mosque and prostrated myself in prayer and thanks near his tomb. I am now under the protection of the Prophet, my supreme commander. I am busying myself with strengthening the defences, building roads and squares in Medina. Trouble me not with useless offers. Two years after the first British Arab attack on Medina, the Ottoman Empire resigned from the war with the armistice of Mudros, which stipulated that Fahreddin would surrender Medina. But he refused. He continued to defend Medina, despite pleas from the Ottoman Sultan, holding the city for a further 72 days after the war. On January 10th, 1919, he was captured. He described this day 
as the most painful day of his life. The British imprisoned Fahreddin in Egypt and later exiled him to Malta for two years, where he refused to remove his Ottoman military uniform. Following the efforts of the Ankara government, Fahreddin, now regarded as a hero in Turkey, was allowed to return home. Today his grave can be found in the Ashian graveyard. On his tombstone is written, Medinenin Kahraman Mudafi, the heroic defender of Medina. <laughs>